In this video, I'm going to share with you the good, the bad and the ugly of real estate and renting properties. I'm going to share this apartment that got trashed by one of my residents, a small duplex I have. I'm going to share with you the top three lessons I learned and what my strategy moving forward is from here. So first thing I want to go into is in 2007 was when I bought my first investment property. I bought a few properties, was underwater, went through some scars into, during that time. I didn't lose any property, sold some properties, got rid of some properties came back in the game after I learned from a mentor. I got a mentor. So I started buying again around 2015, 2016. And here I am 15 years later. And this one was right about around the time when I got back in the game, but I had learned how to run and buy rentals with the property manager. I learned how to run the numbers. I learned about cash on cash returns and all of that good stuff that I usually teach on this channel. So what happened? I bought this property in, I think it was 2016, 17, something like that for 20, Five thousand. It was a foreclosure. Great buy. I put about twenty-five thousand dollars into it, but I didn't know what I was doing. I was kind of still kind of learning. Let me not say that because I don't think it was that I didn't know what I was doing. I, I knew what I was doing, but I was being cheap. I was being irresponsible and I took some shortcuts. So what I did was I took it, we painted it, we put literally put lipstick, put it in the fridge, I put some things, I put that one sheet, that sheet of laminate in the kitchen, that's a no-no for rentals, you never do that. It's so easy to break, people move something, they, they, they just, it's just, don't ever do that in rentals, don't ever put those one sheet laminate. I left this nasty floor that was here, I cash flowed, I'm grateful for it. However, here's the things I learned. Lesson number one is, when you're buying a rental and you're doing and you're putting in a, a product in a rental, make sure you put durable, good quality product. Don't go cheap because if you go cheap, you're going to have to deal with what I'm dealing with today. Okay, so I put cheap product in there. Water got in the floor. I got to now replace the subfloor because they made a hole in the laminate. Water got through there. I got to replace a piece of the subfloor. I should have just put the kitchen in, a newer kitchen. The kitchen was shit when I bought it. I didn't put a kitchen in. I just put lipstick, boom, 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 boom. Got it cash flowing. I'm grateful for what it did for me. It paid off, so I'm not mad. I'm not necessarily mad at it, but I made some mistakes here. Lesson number two is when people show you who they are, believe them. This resident that I had in here started off great. She was a section eight tenant. And then one day we came and then we see cats and I let it slide. Then she broke a window and then she couldn't pay me to replace for the window. Then she, they broke the door. They broke into the back door because she, she locked herself out. So she broke the door instead of calling the property management company. When I was going through this, as I reflect on this, I should have just told her that I was going to exit out of the relationship and then I wanted to exit out of the relationship. I didn't because I'll be honest, I was greedy at the time. I guess, I don't know if I was greedy. I guess it was just, it was cash flow. It is what it is. It was easy, right? It's just section eight money. It's coming into my account every day. I don't have to think uh, every month. And lesson number three, which kind of goes in with my strategy is I don't want to buy anything smaller than 10, 12 units. That's the smallest I want to buy because let me give you some numbers here. So let's just say you have a duplex. This is a duplex. Let's just say this duplex was making me seven or $8,000 a year in cash flow, right? Net, net after taxes, insurance, property management, all that good stuff, right? Now this lady left, by the way, she left in the middle of the night. I didn't get a call, no notification. She just decided to bounce. The only way I found out was because I have a landlord agreement with electric company and the electric company sends me a letter saying that it switched to my name. And I was like, Hey, what's going on? I called my, my property manager and Anyway, that's how we found out. So she left. So now it's going to cost me about seven, eight thousand dollars to repair to repair this place. So what happens to all of my profits, guys? Done, right? I'm back to zero. I still own the asset. Yes, I have equity. I'm back to zero. That's along with my strategy. I am moving on. I'm not buying this stuff. Uh, this smaller stuff. This particular property, I'm really good, really grateful for it. Um, I'm going to fix it, right? The other side over here is rented. We just remodeled that. We're getting twelve hundred dollars a month for that side. For here, we're gonna be able to get $1,200 a month for this side, this is in Wilkes-Barre. So if any of you out there want a house hack and you wanna get a property and you want a cash flow, this will be great. This will be $2,400 and I'm probably gonna sell it, I don't know, for 160 maybe in Wilkes-Barre in Hanover Township, Pennsylvania. Just hit me up. I am lucky because I have a great team and I got some contractors and I could get this for cheap. It's fairly cheap what I'm getting. It just is what it is, man. It just is what it is. I'm not freaking pleased about it. I'm just gonna get this off my books. I wanna playing a bigger game.